Mike, so a little, as you know, over the last five games, I think you guys have four offensive touchdowns. How, how do you process something like that? Yeah, not, not obviously not good enough. Um, you know, it's uh, it's disappointing on many levels. Uh, it starts with me, like I've always said, and and, and I believe. Um, the execution has been off, and execution is coaching from every level of it, you know. And I uh, thought even this last week, I thought we did some really good things in the first half and weren't able to, to, to finish the drives. You know, we were down in, in plus territory our first five drives minus the, the kind of semi-two-minute drive and uh, came away with six points. And you're going to lose football games like that. So um, it's been disappointing, no doubt. Uh, got to look inward. Uh, I'll always do that. You ask the players to do the same thing. Uh, we got the right players in the locker room to do that. Um, and we got to get things fixed. Like what, um, it seemed like the running game got some things going early with Ty and, and then it, it fizzled. What, what did you see from the running? Yeah, no, I was I was pleased early on with uh, um, the run game. You know, I thought Ty came in and gave us, you know, kind of like I said with Bam a few weeks ago, just a little bit of a spark. You know, he's been doing a really good job on teams. He's been uh, doing a really good job as a third down back uh, from a protection standpoint and uh, wanted to give him an opportunity as just kind of a bigger back, um, you know, in that environment and how they were going to stack the box and uh, thought he did a good job. Thought Seattle came out um, and, and made a play or two in the second half. And then, uh, you know, by the time um, – you know, we kind of looked at it, it was 20 to 6 and uh, tried one more run, got to second and seven, went to a play pass, it was third and seven. Then by then it was, it was almost in kind of two minute. But um, I, was, I was pleased in general when you, when you compare it to what we were doing in the past, but still certainly not good enough. Why hasn't it worked with James Robinson this year? Um, you know, I'm, I'm going to hold off on that, that answer. He, he's a big part of our plans. He really is. Uh, Joe D and, and them um, brought him in for a reason. You know, um, I've been in situations before where uh, you have a guy coming off an injury that, that he came off of. And when you're coming off an injury that he came off of in, in 21, it, it, it takes – a lot of time, a lot of rehab, a, a full off season of, of not just rehabbing, but um, uh, getting back into football shape and, and, and be able to, uh, um, you know, work the right way to, to be able to play at your highest level, you know. And so, again, he's a big part of our plans. He's a heck of a runner. I thought in 20, um, or excuse me, in 21 before he got injured, the, those first six, seven, eight weeks, where I thought he was one of the best backs in the league. And I'm so thankful that he's on this roster, and I can't wait to see what he's going to do moving forward. How much is, is all of this weighing on you? Affecting you when you're not even here. Yeah, I mean it's uh, you know it's it stinks because uh, we had a we had an um, awesome opportunity in front of us that we uh, let slip away. I do think we're going to learn and grow from this. I think there's a lot of young guys that uh, you know we're put in situations that I don't think anyone thought we were going to be in, uh, in in December. Yeah, we everyone talked about playing meaningful games. I don't know if anyone really believed that outside of the locker room, uh, and we were we just didn't get it done in those meaningful games. So. Um, even 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 through the good, even when it was seven and four, and you know we we beat Buffalo and played well versus Chicago, and, and had that stretch uh, where we were finding an identity or running the ball well. Um, still, the, the the bad times during that, the bad plays, the bad play, those weigh on you more than even the wins, you know. And, and that's that's what it should as a coach, as a competitor, you know. So yeah, this last month has sucked, but uh, I know there's a reason for it, um, and uh, and we're going to grow because of it. Anytime there's a, a team that's kind of enduring a rut. On offense or defense or anything like that. I mean, the, the public knee jerk reaction is change the coordinator, change the scheme, make a change. Uh, Robert kind of gave you a little bit of a vote of confidence when he had his press conference or Zoom on Monday. Have you and him talked? At all? Like, did you talk to him after that? I mean, have you spoken at all about? Yeah, I mean, we, we, we speak all the time, obviously, just like, you know, he speaks with uh, Brick and Boyer. Um, so, you know, um, I, I appreciate that. But, uh, you know, when you when you sign up for this at any level, uh, you understand, you know, this is a production based business. And, uh, you know, you're not going to run from that. I grew up in a, a family of coaches. Uh, my dad's been fired. My brother's been fired. Uh, every coach is going to be fired at some point. And then re and, and it's just the cycle. And that's what it is, you know. That doesn't keep me up at night or put me to sleep. It doesn't matter. What matters is these players and, and you know, the, the last question of, you know, the execution part of it. That's that's where my focus is. My focus is on how can we get better? How can we beat the Miami Dolphins? Mike, why are you, why are you the right guy for this job going forward? Um, I'm going to respectfully not answer that question because I, it, it doesn't – my words don't matter there, and, and I really mean that. Um, 
I'm going to give everything I got for these players in this organization. And that's all you can do, you know, and that's all you ask your other assistants to do. And that's all you ask from the players, you know. So um, if that's not good enough, so be it, you know. And, and uh, again, you can, um, you know, you can you can walk <laughs> through the building and walk out of the building with your head held high, knowing that you put everything you can for these players, you know. So, um, again, I'm, I'm not going to try to advocate for one way or the other. Um, I just know that uh, we're going to continue to grind until, um, you know, they don't allow us to grind anymore. Mike, this is a big picture question, but we're not going to see you again after today until, uh, you know, May probably. So, with Zach, do you feel like, I, mean, I don't know if you've had time to do introspection on, on the process. Do you guys feel like you've failed him in developing him right now? Where, where do you feel like you're at? Yeah, there's there's still development to be uh, development to be had. At. Through two years, yeah, we haven't we haven't done our job with them, right? I mean, any player at any position that isn't producing to the level that they're capable of, as a coach, you failed them, and and that's how I, that I've always looked at that, yeah, and. Um, you know, there's a two-way street with it. You know, the players got to meet you in the middle with it. Um, but uh, you want all these guys to play at their absolute best. And, and we all know that uh, that Zach, and, um, he hasn't played at his absolute best. He's, he's shown spurts. He's shown the talent. Uh, but uh, he's going to – and it's like Solid, I know, said yesterday, through hell or high water, we're going to work with them. And we're going to work with any of these guys. If they're on this roster, we're going to work with them, period. And it's not going to stop. <laughs> Do you think that, another, just on Zach, maybe, I mean, your scheme is based on, it's like a timing and rhythm offense, and he seems not to be a timing and rhythm quarterback just by the style he plays. Do you think maybe it's just not a good scheme fit? Uh, no, I, I, I've seen, uh, I, at BYU, um, when we watched the tape and we all agree, I mean, he, he could sit in the pocket and hit his back foot and, and deliver the ball. You know, he, he's shown that he uh, he's talented and he's smart and he's, he's willing to work. So um, I do believe he's a scheme fit. I believe he's a scheme fit for a lot of different offenses. Um, you know, so we got to continue to work and see what works best for him, though. When you evaluate quarterbacks, Mike, and, you know, there are some guys that, I mean, I think you know, it's kind of the, the thing that everyone's talking about now is Geno's gone on and played well after some years sitting and watching and Sam has gone on and played well after some years sitting and watching. Could Zach just be one of those players? I, that- yeah, it's it's a good question, Connor, and it's it kind of is what it is in, in 2023 now, I guess you could say. Like, people, you know, People don't want to wait. Uh, they want the uh, instant gratification of you know these these rookies, these second year guys to be superstars, and understandably so. You you get why this is a highly competitive environment. Uh, I use the example of what's going on in Green Bay right now. Obviously, it was Brett Favre. Aaron sat for four, I think, five years, uh, and Jordan Love's kind of going through it right now. And I'm not gonna, I'm not there at practice. I can just go off of the words what I hear, but uh, just how much improvement he's had through three years, you know, of sitting there watching Aaron going through the scout team and all that. And and that's that 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 was his path. That is his path, and we'll see what holds, uh, you know, for for Jordan. Um, similar to Zach, you know. Um, in hindsight, it, it probably would have benefited, you know, just to sit back and, and learn a little bit uh, and uh, and watch a veteran and, and do it and just kind of grow, um, you know, in this league, uh, kind of in the back seat watching and, and uh, getting better in practice and getting better in um, uh, through scout team and all that. But again, that wasn't the course that we went. And uh, you know, from here, we got to pick it up. We got to pick up the scraps and we got to get back to work. For a guy like for a guy like Zach. There's obviously the, the playing quarterback thing, but there's also the whole mental kind of baggage and you know hearing it from the fans and all that stuff that, that comes with his job. So how do you how does he navigate that and coming back from that whenever he gets his next opportunity? Because you know it's not like people are going to be patient with him. Right. No. And uh, again, that's what you sign up for, right? Uh, if you want to be a quarterback in this league, you want to be a coordinator, you want to be a head coach, you want to be a player in this league, you want to be a part of this league. Uh, you're gonna when, when things aren't going well, you're gonna hear it, and that's just part of it. You sign up for that. So um, he's man enough. He'll be able to he'll be able to bounce back from that, um, you know. And uh, he'll have time to, to reflect and think about it and, and how he's gonna uh, stand up to it. Why did he come uh, more? I mean, hindsight's twenty twenty. But what, in, in the moment, you just Zach was handed the starting job. Like, what there must have been something that compelled you guys to make that decision. I mean, obviously now in retrospect, it doesn't look great, but. What was it in the moment that maybe no 
Unfortunately, having the benefit of hindsight, that maybe you would have done differently. Yeah, no, it's, um, you know, if you, if you think back to the preseason, I think everyone wanted to crown them after that first preseason, right? Uh, and I, I don't think any of us got too high or too low on the preseason, but he, he was playing pretty good football through that, you know, and, uh, you know, uh, and we're going to have to look back and, and see, you know, uh, what, what not, not necessarily red flags, but what indicators were there that, that uh, said it wasn't ready, you know. And, um, you know, again, hindsight's twenty twenty. It really doesn't matter. You know, we just got to learn from it, and we will. Is, and, I mean, you know Zach probably better than, than any of us. I mean, is he the type of person who can go from you're the quarterback day one, go get him, to now two years later be like, okay, if there is a veteran here, we're going to let you sit and develop a little bit and then get you back out there. Yeah, I think, I mean, that's probably more of a question for him, but he's uh, he's just going to work, you know, and I'm, that's, that's when I've talked with him, that's, uh, you know, his deal is I've been through rough patches before, maybe not at this level because of being at this level, but uh, to get through it, I've just worked hard, really, really hard at every facet of it, not just the physical, not just the mental, but the leadership, uh, the being the good teammate, um, you know, and, um, and he's battled before and he's going to, he's going to battle through this.